tutorial, I'll be teaching you to paint this magical shimmering butterfly design. All the products I use in this video are listed in the description box below. The first step to the eyeshadow is to use paint as a base, and I'm using Krivolin Dark Metallic Blue, Light Metallic Blue, and Metallic White to do this. You can use your finger to help blend the colors together, but don't worry if it looks messy because we're going to blend it all out with eyeshadow later. Apply the white to the inner corner of the eye and right below the brow bone. Also apply all three of these colors to your bottom lash line as well. To set the paint, use eyeshadow and I'm using a shimmery blue, shimmery light blue and shimmery white to do this. This will help blend everything together and you can use a dome brush to drag the dark blue eyeshadow into your crease. Finally, use shimmery white shadow right under your brow bone and this will help blend the blue with the white really nicely. For the background color, I'm just using the shimmery white color that I used on my eyes and also a Krivolin black sponge and I've gotten lots of questions about this sponge so I'm going to do a mini short video about them that I'll upload shortly after this video so keep your eye out for that but just put a cloud of white all around your eyes and then going partially down the bridge of your nose as you can see I tried to do my butterfly and messed up so everybody messes up it's okay I just wiped it off and I'm gonna start over for the butterflies I'm using the Krivolin Lagoon split cake and this is one of the Lisa Joy Young exclusive split cakes so that's exciting and a three-quarter flat brush. What you're gonna do is lead with the dark blue and wiggle your brush and pull in. And whenever you pull in, make sure that you keep the dark blue down so that it helps you create a line. So wiggle and pull in and make sure you're stretching that dark blue out. It's very important that whatever split cake you use, it has either white or a very, very dark color on the end so that you won't have to outline your butterflies later. It'll save you tons of time if you don't have to outline them. For the bottom wings, just use the same technique. Wiggle your brush and pull up. Wiggle, twist for a point. Wiggle and pull up. I'm going to do one more set or one more layer in the middle here. Wiggle and pull and this will help to add dimension and interest to your butterflies. So wiggle and pull in with that dark blue and the same thing on the bottom wings. You can use that same technique all around for the different butterflies. Just make sure you pull your brush in a lot and wiggle your brush to get lots of texture and color variations and practice twisting your brush to get the right shape and point of the butterflies. It's also very important when you're doing these that your brush is wet enough, not so wet that the colors run together but you want to make sure it has a nice crisp line on the outside and not um, blotchy like it would be if, the, um, if your paint wasn't wet enough. And wiggle, twist for a point and come back up. You can see here, I'm gonna drag my blue to give an outline right there because there wasn't enough of an outline. 
For the little butterflies, I switched to a half inch brush and these are behind the other ones, so I'm just trying to be careful to keep the wings behind. And these are little and in the background, so you don't have to be very careful with them. Just make sure they're kind of the shape of a butterfly and have the four wings. So that's one side done. Do the same exact thing on the other side. After I was done with my butterflies, I decided I wanted, wanted them to pop a little bit more. So I took metallic white and I applied it to right up against the dark blue and that helped to create contrast and add interest. With a really skinny brush, this is the number one Royal Grumbacher, I'm using black to add more contrast for the bodies and I just want them to be very delicate, very simple with the antenna, nothing too swirly. And with the one that's facing the side, make sure to have both antennas facing the same direction and add your little bodies all around your design. I decided to add dots to give the butterflies more interest and to make them kind of look more magical and sparkling. And I'm using a round number six Royal Cornell 3000 to do this. It's a good brush for dots because it doesn't have a very sharp point. So it's good to have round, more round brushes to do dots. And using my Mark Reed number two, I am putting little sparkle flares in there and this is my favorite brush to do these with. And finally, I'm using some Krivelin body glue to apply some rhinestones to the middle of my little sparkles. And if you have a stick um, with like wax on the end to pick these up, it would make it easier. I don't have one so I just use my fingers. all done. I really hope you guys liked it. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook. The link to that is below. Bye, everybody.